So local reaction has also been coming into that political report on Roe v. Wade. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish live at the State House right now, monitoring what our congressional delegation and others are saying. Kayla. Well, guys, we've been getting new reaction to this draft decision through the morning, but I want to start out by noting that even if Roe versus Wade is overturned, both Rhode Island and Massachusetts have codified a woman's right to an abortion into state law in anticipation of a decision like this from the Supreme Court. If it were to come about, that means that abortion would remain legal in both states. But even so, a handful of Democratic lawmakers from throughout southern New England have have swiftly condemned this draft opinion. New this morning, the Rhode Island Democratic Women's Caucus calling this an unconscionable attack on individual liberty. In a statement, the group says the decision would not end abortions, just as Roe v. Wade didn't mark the beginning of them. Going on to say, quote, the effect of this decision is simply to prevent low-income and minority women access to reproductive health care, end quote. Now, on the other side of the debate, local Catholic priest Father Jay Finelli from the Diocese of Providence Providence, also reacting to the news on Twitter last night saying, quote, this will be a great miracle and more reaction we're expecting as this story continues to develop. In fact, we've learned an abortion rights activist group, The Woman Project, is planning a rally outside of the Rhode Island State House that's slated for 8 p.m tonight and throughout the morning. We've also been combing through this 98 page draft opinion and it includes some mentions of local legal precedent from the 19th century. We'll talk more about that coming up in the next half hour. For now, live in Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Well, the Supreme Court justice who authored this opinion, which was leaked to Politico, did mention a handful of local legal precedents in his argument to overturn the landmark decision. Kayla Fish joins us now, continuing our team coverage. She's live at the State House. Kayla, good morning. Good morning, Patrick and Danielle. Well, this whole bombshell report is centered around that leaked draft majority opinion that was written by Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito. And in that 98 page document that was leaked to Politico, Alito mentions a handful of local laws from the 1860s. Now, one of those from right here in Rhode Island, a legal precedent which criminalized abortion at all stages in 1861. Another legal precedent from Massachusetts prohibiting an abortion unless the procedure was necessary to save the mother's life. Now, Alito writes that most states criminalized abortion in the 19th century, something he says endured until Roe v. Wade. In mentioning these and other cases, he argues that, quote, the inescapable conclusion is that a right to abortion is not deeply rooted in the nation's history. However, in recent years, in anticipation of a decision like this from the Supreme Court that could overturn Roe v. Wade, both Rhode Island and Massachusetts, codified a woman's right to an abortion into state law. That means abortion would remain legal in both states, even if Roe is overturned. And in the wake of this leak, there has been plenty of reaction from local groups and local lawmakers. In fact, we've learned that an abortion rights activist group is planning a rally outside the Rhode Island State House tonight at 8 p.m. and plenty more reaction pouring in overnight and through the morning. We have all of that for you right now on our website, WP. PRI.com. Live in Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.